Hey y'all, welcome back. Uh, around, I'm gonna do a little video on something that uh, I didn't think I could find in Tennessee. But where we live in Loudoun, we never could find it. But we had to be on anniversary weekend, and me and my wife's riding around over here in Crossville, and we happened to come across this. Well, so it does grow in Tennessee. Some of it's the full, it's falling over. And the caterpillar wiring these things out. <laughs> Tiring this milkweed up. Well, we was driving down the road, found some more. Yep. It's weird, if you got what we're looking for, we're just looking for these big leaves and these stalks. Now, some of them are brown, some of them are green, but you can spot them going down the road. Uh, it just shocks me that we found them. Uh, we're gonna pick a few more of these, that way we, we know we got plenty, we're gonna plant some back home. And uh, stay tuned here in a second and I'll show you how to split them and dry them for the season because they're almost ready, they're full, they just ain't busted yet. and. Uh, but we'll be able to dry them out. I think I think they start breaking open in uh, late September, early October, and today is uh, September 6th. They're about as big as they're gonna get. Matter of fact, some of them we got on the last patch was already starting to turn color. Now, when you pick these, you are gonna need a glove because they are messy. You can see the, as soon as you break them off, you can see the milk run out of them, the old sap, white sappy stuff. But we'll get these, we're gonna collect a few more and we're gonna get these busted open and uh, show you how to dry them out for season. All right, y'all, we got some, got this milkweed here and to get it dried out for season since we done picked them, all you're gonna wanna do, as you can see, these are real green. They still got the sap coming out of them. All you're really gonna do is take your pocket knife and there's a seam on the front and the back. You can pick it either way. I usually go the back and you just wanna go in there and cut that open. And then, you'll see that those seeds are a very, they look almost like a pumpkin seed. They're a tan color. So these are gonna dry out in the sun. Matter of fact, as the sun's hitting them, they're changing color. So you're gonna open up that back and just lay them out here. Just like that where they can get our, and you won't leave them outside about two days. Uh, I mean, I've heard that two or three of these will get you through a season, but I'm an overachiever, I guess. I'll send way too much, or put too much. But anyway, I did this right before I found these. I ordered some from Kansas before I found all this. And I did the same thing that I'm doing here and I left them out two days in the hot sun right here on this table. And this is basically what you're gonna get out of it. And all you do, you can pull the little dried seed off and save it. Well, I've got sap on my fingers. As you can see, you can follow it for a long ways. That's the trick to these things. You can see where your thermals are going. Uh, you know, as it travels down. So you can have this picky seed off, plant you some, like around here in Loudon, we don't have any anywhere that I found. I've looked in fields and everywhere, but where we did find this was on the side of roads that people hadn't bush hogged all year. And on the way home on 75, we seen it behind guardrails where they can't get the bush hogs down in there. And we seen some pods there too. So hopefully it'll help some of these people out in Tennessee. Just go down the interstate, ride around, look, I mean, you can tell these were picked yesterday. Today is 9-8. Uh, these were picked two days ago. You can see how big and green. You can spot them on the side of the road. But anyway, uh, we're going to give this a try and see what happens. We picked enough probably for a couple years. So I'm sure my buddies will be happy to get some of it. But I hope this video helped. And uh, check some of our other videos out. We're going to see how this turns out.
And as always, God bless.